Hi, it's a bit better day today. Um, it's still cold, but it's fairly bright. Um, so we've got the Honda HRV 536L. And um, I was going to start off with saying good news or the bad news. Well, to be honest, there isn't any really bad news. So um, it's pretty good, I think. Um, what I did is um, uh, I had to put some... Yeah, so it's all it's all running running well. Um, clean up is the main job, really, and I will find another one of them. I've got one on a Honda Honda Easy in the garden. I'd have to barrel one off of there at the moment and um, use that one because that's annoying how that does that clicking noise. Um, yeah, you can see them wheel. It's a little bit sort of, um, up, sort of wiggly there a little bit. So um, yeah, I think the next thing I'll do though is um, find a cover for that. Um, degrease the engine and give it a blast. I don't know how to, it's a lot cleaner on that side, so that's not that bad much. It's just in there. I tell you what, um, Hondas do have a habit of where the, um, the governor arm comes through, where the, it comes out of the engine, a little rod comes out of the engine to make that work. It, there isn't really a, a bush or anything, it's just sort of through the engine casing and over time they will seep a little bit. It's not really um it's not really vital and it I just just over the years and that's why I think the oil gets in there. Um, I've had it happen on a few cleaned up and it lasts years again before it's just a little bit seeped for a little bit over the years. Um there'll be too much you can do. It's just probably site where where the governor, governor arm thing has been um rod has been coming through over the years but that isn't a problem because you don't hardly lose any oil but probably the odd bit comes out and then other rubbish sort of gets stuck to the oil like leaves and grass and, that, and then just rots away it makes it just look dirty so yeah so my job now is um find a cover for that so I'll water don't get in when i'm cleaning it and give it a give it a good clean up Hi again, um, so we're back on this one again. It's a Honda HRV 536C. It's uh, one I'm sorting out for my dad for, for Christmas. Can't quite remember where I got where I got to before, but it's all been cleaned down now. I might have told you that. But it's all clean in there now. You can see I've uh, degreased and give it a lovely clean down. It's in nice clean condition now. There's absolutely no damage to the deck whatsoever. I've had a good look around it. It's really good. Then wheels that were loose have all been tightened up now. Um, I just had to replace the little pins. I'll see if I've got one here and I'll show you what I did. I've got one of the old ones here. Oh, here we go. Um, they were a bit worn. I didn't have any exactly the same length, uh, but what I did, what I do, when they start to wear, they actually wear the, through the plastic a little bit as well. It's hard to sort of um, explain, but I'll try. Um, so putting a new one of these in, which does fit not so worn, still didn't take up the play, but it was a bit longer the other one. So what I do is just get a washer that will fit over there just to overrun it a little bit then put the nut on and clamp it all tight and there you go it's nice and solid on there now um so they're all sorted so um, i've been waiting for parts so i haven't been on it uh working on it for a few days that height adjuster was actually um seized 
Um, and I've act I actually took it totally off. You can see it's not seen now, but the clip isn't on behind. But I can't put the clip on behind because I'll tell you tell you why in a second. We'll go through the new parts I've got, then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So for a start, we've got two new drive cogs. The old ones weren't too bad at all, but I want this to be right. It's a present. It's, it would be nothing worse than getting a present. Um, it's a present from my dad. I think I told you. Oh, well, that's what the video is about, actually sorting out this for my dad for Christmas. Um, nothing worse than getting something that breaks down what you get for Christmas. So I thought I'm going to get this right. The drive is all right, but all the little parts all around and everything to the wheels are a bit worn. So I thought I'll do a proper job on it. It's cost me a few bob, but I want it to be right. So we have two new drive cogs. So that's that. We have bushes. These are the bushes that fit in the height adjusters. They go in, well actually I'm gonna to have to do that in a minute anyway, so get it off, because I'm gonna fit them in a minute. So I'll show you where they fit. They fit in there. You can see they're slightly slightly worn. There's one going inside. That one ain't quite so worn that side, but you still see it's a bit thin sort of at the bottom. So they're gonna, they're gonna oh wait, so they're gonna go in there i've got four of them ridiculous price about sort of nearly 20 pounds for four of those but i've got them so i can put them in so that would be right it does actually uh, i think i mentioned before uh, if the wheels uh, wear out we start here a clicking it will probably be them first or the cogs on the wheel which i'll show you in a minute but if there's play, if there's play in that there, because the bushes are warm, that will cause the same problem as well. So probably that that will cause that to be no good and then the wheel to wear as well. So what I've done, I've got them, I've got the bushes. These are just some, some uh, the smaller circle clips and I've got a couple of the bigger ones and they fit behind, behind the shaft to hold to hold the height adjuster back in. And also I have got, just get it out of the bag. A bit, sorry for all this, let's try and get out of the bag. I have got two new wheels. I thought I'd go, the other, I thought I had some spare wheels, but they had cracks around there. They probably would have done and probably been all right, but I just want it, like I said, I want this right. So this is going to be pretty tip top um, as in drive wise, because everything's going to be replaced. So I've got them and I've got the cogs and I've got the new wheel. So everything sort of from there is going to all be renewed and be right. So if that's how I want it to be. So my job tonight is now is to push the old ones of the bushes out, which I'll do in the vice easy enough. Just get a, where are we? I'll just get a socket that fits in there and push it through in the vise to get them out. Then be careful to squeeze the new ones in. I don't want to break them, but um, that should solve that should solve that problem. And then um, get the clip on behind, get that all back. Give that just a little clean because it's a bit hard to get in there. Um, and this side should be done. Clip the wheel on and everything, and that should be done. So I'll probably do the other side tomorrow, but I sort of pop out here for half an hour and get one side sort of done. I'll put a little bit of, of grease on there. I've got some steel grease I use for the, the combis and that, so I'll just smear a bit around there just to lubricate that a bit. But this system is all right, but it's a little bit... Um, a bit weak for using a mower commercially really even though i use the hrx's and it's much the same as well it's almost exactly the same design um the big old um the pro ones the f ones i use the uh, like that one back there you just see down there the hr h ones with the aluminium wheels they run the gear direct onto the back of there so there isn't like a cog that goes on to saying it runs it direct onto the back of the wheel which is a lot better because it's direct so the wear is a lot less but this system does work all right and we've been using mowers all summer and they've lasted um lasted all right so you just got to be prepared to replace a wheel now and then a wheel will cog all the bushes now and then the bushes are probably uh these are probably the original bushes i would imagine so the bushes will last quite a long time so anyway um, I've been talking enough about this. I'll get them um, new bushes in. 
Um, well, the first one's done now. Um, I didn't actually push them through quite as much as they were before because um, I thought it was better to do it like that. So quite near to the edge. Usually on the back underneath the mower, sort of from underneath there on the back side of the, the shaft, you'd have this... Um, uh, what is it a dust sort of seal um but i take them off i tell you why i've had it happen a couple of times on the hrx's they're sort of rubber coated and metal sort of thin metal and what happens if these wear or they're not fully pushed into their tight they come off and the metal can cut into the oil seal on the hydrostatic drive and then it loses the oil and you lose the drive so i don't bother with them um probably just stops a little bit of um uh sort of muck going in there but these weren't in place anyway and usually they do fall out so i didn't bother buying any of them i'm not gonna put them in i don't advise to but other people might think different but it's just the way i do it because i found them cause trouble uh, trouble on two hrx's before and yeah they're sort of the metal sort of as it goes around it cuts in so now they won't be on there so they won't cause trouble but there's the new um bushes in so i can get that side back on now um i think that's about all i've got to do yeah on this side so i'll get the new clip on the back get that all clipped in and a bit of grease in there and that and this side will hopefully be done so i've got that um i'll try to show you where that circle clip is um oh it's a bit difficult angle just on there, you can just see it. There's a washer go on first and then a circlip afterwards. Different angle, you might see it better. You can just see it. So yeah, that's on. What I did, because it's a bit spring-loaded because of the height adjuster, I just clamped it with my trusty little clamp thing I use for the recalls. Then, what you've got to do is just pull, because the, the, the um, gearbox is a little bit spring-loaded to that, to that way. So I just grabbed the gearbox, pushed it, through which you can see there it's coming through a little bit um two washers on behind that's what was on there i take it that's what i never remember but that's what was on there so i've put it back like like and i've put a new let me show you a new sir clip on there so that's all right now um now let's find the next um piece there's a little washer that goes on after that that um fits into the new into the new gear i can get the new gear and then we'll get that on yeah so the next step is um i've got the new um cog there um like i said before they can go on either way but i took the old one off and leaned it the right way so i've just um done this the same um, i'm not going to actually put the grease in here because it when it dries out it could it could hinder it so i should put some spray grease in afterwards then you can see like the little keyway thing is it's like spring load there's a spring just check the springs in show you there's a spring in there just there well then that little keyway goes i haven't got a new one of them i've gone and forgot which way that went now just check over here So the keyway is in there. I'll just try and slip this cog on there. A little bit difficult one-handed. It's easier if you can sort of work from above and just hold it in with a small screwdriver that's popped out. Hopefully you can see me actually do this. If not, I'll have to. There we go, I've managed to do it. And there you can see. spring loading as it, it should be so we got that right you can see that was the way it was and it's right there so that's the old cog that can be thrown away now i don't need that i'm actually it would do it would do as a as, um emergency one then that goes on there i'm gonna spray a bit of spray grease in there and then all it is at the end is just a, another circlip on there and then um just a new wheel to put on I should grease it all up and everything, but that's about all I need to show you on that because that's done a pretty damn good job of that. It's sorted out the problem. I don't think I'm going to have to mess around with the split pin because it all seems to be holding very well, so I'm not going to bother with that. 
So I'll just have to do the other side. I'll probably do that tomorrow. So I'll show you when I'm when I've done all them and um, ready for the final test then, and just a bit of a clean up, something to shine up the mower a little bit, just make it look nice, and then we'll be done. Um, yeah, so what I've done here now, I've um, just put some normal of that steel grease on there. I'll show you a little tube. It's just what you squeeze into the uh, gearboxes on the combis and that. Um, it's all right stuff, so I thought it'll do for this. Put a bit of spray grease on there and behind inside the cog, because I didn't want that that um, thicker grease being there uh, in case it all gums up over time. So I've done it like that. I've smeared a little bit on the cog of the new wheel make it all run a little bit smoother so um all i had to do then is put a there's a flat washer and then there's like a springed up washer uh, it goes like that as you can see and then we just slip this wheel on just nudge them out back slightly Sometimes them guards get quite warm, but on this one it's in quite good condition, so that ain't a problem at all. And there we go. It's running lovely. Let's check that that is the right way around. Yep. So it'll push forward and then it's all locked going back. So it should be. And the final job now is, and I have greased in the um, sprayed in there just to lubricate it, is that. Oh, I'll just tighten that up and that will be that side done that's how that's how you do it um i can't find a span of time i'll do that in a second and that is basically all the back um wheel gearbox end whatever you want to call it sort of reconditioned and replaced so um if the gearbox is good the gearboxes might some people might think they're no good but actually sometimes it can just be the wheels and all that playing up a lot get thrown away like that i've bought quite a few like this because of that problem replace will cost Cost a few pounds, but it does make a good job of it and they'll go on for a long time. Yeah, I expect this mower to last my dad probably, a, well, quite a few years, probably. if He doesn't use a mower like I do, so I expect it probably to last, probably go on five years at least, um, if he look, if he looks after it. More than likely, he'll probably do his glass room ride on still and hardly use it, but he always manages he hasn't got a decent push mower, so this will be a decent one. And it'll be in good condition as well. Nice new back wheels, all the cogs and all that done. So, yeah, um, it'd be nice if I get a Christmas present like that, but um, I can repair my own. So, well, he can actually. He's good mechanically minded, but he'd never get he'd never get round to sorting them out and that. So I thought this would be a good Christmas present for him. So anyway, I'll leave the video here. I'll show you it when it's out, out um, running and I've just about finished it. It's just I've got to do the same process on the other side. It's um, simple enough, take me about an hour, I'll do that tomorrow and then clean it all up and we're, we're done and dusted for this one. So thanks for watching and I'll be with another video again soon. Um, hiya, the Honda HRV 536C, the Christmas present for my dad is now done. I'll just, oh, well, I'm here, I'll just show you. That up there, now where you can see it. We can zoom in a bit. And then little power, power shoot things. I don't know whether that's the one with the propeller. Yeah, I think it's the one where they have the propellers on the back. And they're back like a backpack. Just sort of show you that. Back to the mower. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, I'll just um, show you around it. Um, all I've got to just do is keep it wiped down, start that flow, and it's got a little bit of um, dirt and dust on it now. If you can see, it's come up pretty nice. The garden's so muddy at the moment, I haven't been able to try it on the grass. But um, yeah, so um, that thing's made quite a bit of noise up there, going around in circles. Um, but I'll get my partner to film it and I'll just show you it up and running to finish off the video.
there you go. You um, see it running, it running well on fast and slow. You saw the speed work, the drive, it worked really well. Um, that's a perfect drive, it's in really good condition now with the new cards to put on. Um, the blade brake worked well and the airflow, um, you might see me lift the flap up, the airflow is really good from the blade, so that will be a cracking mar I reckon, but done that for Christmas, so um, I think, I've mentioned before, I think he's got another mar for the bag, so he can um, supply the bag himself, but there you go, that's a nice mar. Um, like I said, they usually crack down there, this one hasn't, and um, yeah, it's nice and clean, I'll just give a little dust off and put it in the van, ready for and to give it over to him probably tomorrow or Boxing Day. So, yeah, leave the video there. So, thanks for watching, and I'll be along with another video again soon.